now. And Donna, David, how's my audio sounding today? You're great. Sound All right. fabulous. All right. And let me know if you can hear me now. Yes. <clears throat> nope. You couldn't hear me. Okay, great. That was my, my cough button. Wanted to see if that was working because I switched microphones today. Matt had this one yesterday. All right. So, all right, everybody, I'm on this camera. We are uh, going to be doing uh, uh, presentation keynotes on every single component of the company uh, going starting from now up until next Thursday. So today uh, we're doing groove pages and can we get the schedule up? We'll go over the, the schedule as I, as I go over that. I should have let you guys know a little earlier. So today's keynote is all about groove pages. And as you can see, it says Tuesday, July 6th, groove pages, more on, uh, on how to do every single thing that you want to know about uh, designing pages, templates, funnels, everything like that. Tomorrow, we're going to be starting at 11 a.m. And it's going to, tomorrow's probably going to be the longest day. GrooveSell is the most in-depth product when it comes to doing a demo. <clears throat> so today, I anticipate we're probably going to go about four hours today. We'll probably end around 3 p.m. Eastern time. And we'll probably maybe go a little bit longer for some Q&A. If you have some questions, we'll certainly do that. Um, and we won't be breaking too often for any questions during the keynote, so we'll be, we'll be watching your questions and we'll be going over everything at the, at the end of the keynotes. Uh, like we said, tomorrow uh, will be Groove Cell. Uh, we're gonna go over everything that you can imagine about setting up a product, setting up an affiliate program, how the reporting works, what are partner contracts, coupons, quantities, creating checkouts, leaderboards, you name it, it's all gonna be there. We're also gonna be talking about the marketplace, we're going to be talking about, um, and Donna can get you that file as well. <clears throat> it's ready? Oh, okay, cool. Um, hey, Donna, would you, would you mind uh, just going over the rest of the schedule there from, um, uh, from Thursday on, and I'll get the keynote over to this other computer with Mike. Sure, happy Thanks. to. Um, I dropped it in the Groovathon chat too, Mike, so Thank you. Jones Let's has see. access to that. Okay. Uh, all right, and so on Thursday, I'm very, very excited about Thursday. On Thursday, Matt Zeralta is joining us to discuss Groove Pay in depth. And we have a lot going on on the Groove Pay side of the business, um, including things like we'll probably talk about it the day before in Groove Sale, but then again in conjunction with the Groove Pay Day, um, our affiliate wallet system and what we have planned for that. Um, did you know? that pretty soon you're going to be able to have a Groove debit card that you can connect to your transactions or your affiliate wallet in Groove. It's very, very, very exciting. So we have a lot of cool stuff that we're gonna announce on uh, Thursday during our Groove Pay Day. And I'll be sitting here taking notes myself on that one. And then Friday is uh, my baby Groove Mail. We're gonna be talking about the Groove Mail autoresponder system not only what's happening right now in terms of the rollout and who has access and who doesn't, when you're going to get access, but we're gonna take a look at the changes that we've made inside the app, uh, how it looks, the power that you will have to be able to email and connect with your list and the, the things that you can unlock through tagging and automation. This is the stuff that gets me super excited from a marketing perspective. So I cannot wait until Friday's presentation on GrooveMail. And then um, Mike is still concentrating, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about next week's schedule as well. Here we go. Here's next week. We have uh, the Monday, the 12th. We're going to talk about Groove Blog, Groove Member, and Groove Video. There have been a lot of changes that have come out in Groove Blog, uh, so super exciting. We just keep putting um, new, interesting features and touches on both Groove Blog and Groove Member. Uh, so excited to show you that and Groove video. I know that there are some questions about things like encoding and bandwidth and all of those questions will be answered on uh, Monday the 12th. On Tuesday, I'm also very, very excited about this one because it's really our very first look at Groove webinar. Uh, Groove webinar you can play with. It is in sandbox mode now. It's already available in the app. So if you log in and go to your upper left hand corner, um, you'll uh, under the apps, you'll find Groove webinar in there. You can click on it and start uh, playing with the webinar service and see kind of how it works and functions. 
On Wednesday, July 14th, we're going to dive into Groove Cart. Groove Cart just gets better every day. Uh, they're making some amazing leaps over in Groove Cart. And uh, we're working behind the scenes to really fully integrate Groove Cart into the Groove.cm uh, platform. So we'll talk all about that on Wednesday. And then finally, we'll wrap up on Thursday, uh, July 15th. We're going to talk about our newest venture, joint venture Groove Copy Pro, as well as uh, Groove Brazil, Groove Asia, which didn't make it to this list, but we'll talk about it, uh, Groove Con, and also the Marketers Cruise on Thursday the 15th. So we have an exciting schedule ahead for you. How you doing there, Mike? All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yep. All right, yeah, we, we had a little thing that we we're just working on some production over here while you were carrying. I think we're... We're all set. We're, we're all ready to go. Okay. And yeah, so today, folks, um, I've got a couple of new things that uh, I want to show you that are brand new inside of Groove. We're going to be doing some more in-depth demos on these during, uh, during the week and as they come in, but something uh, new just went live today. We're actually doing what we call hot fixes uh, every hour. First, we got the big shell of it uh, uploaded. And then uh, we're going to be just doing some tweaks throughout the day. And uh, like I said, nothing that we're going to be demoing today, but let me at least show you that. So I'm going to click on the share my screen button uh, here. And we're going to bring, let's see, share screen. Okay, and now we should be able to see my screen there. Very good. All right, so um, everything here looks the same with the exception of what you see on the left sidebar and in the top right corner. So we just added a new feature now. This used to be a burger menu uh, that you see up here. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit <clears throat> here, just to show this here. You see this burger menu that we used to have here, the three lines, we've now changed that with uh, a profile picture and we're now allowing you the ability to upload your profile in the dash that literally just went live this morning. And we also, over here, we've added a new sidebar, as you can see here. Now, we're no longer going to be having um, the, the words underneath, so you'll have to uh, click. Uh, you'll have to hover over these things to see what we have here. So we're, we're putting the home. This is the home to the dashboard here. This is the, the marketplace, the app store. When we have it, if we click that, it'll just open up the new shelf that we have here like this, which is just a little bit, a little bit cleaner. And all of this stuff is being... Uh, added literally today. These are our services and so on. But you'll also notice here, if I close this, um, when we go to Groove Cell or Groove Mail or Groove Member, let me just make this a little bit more normal here, uh, back to 100%. If I click on Groove Cell, if you, yeah, what's up? My, the microphone, it's not, oh, well, okay. <clears throat> oh, I'll try to keep it like this. Um, when I, I think you're just going to have to cover your handsome face with that mic today, Mike. It, just... it doesn't reach when I, I, I oh. I'd, be, I'd be more comfortable like this. So I'm, I'm trying to stay in here because the, the microphone just doesn't get that far, but we'll adjust it. Um, again, it's because of the gate with the air conditioning hum. Yep. I have to be right on top of it. Okay. So you'll notice when I click on Groove Cell now, um, if you remember the dashboard used to load to a black dashboard. So now... The dashboard is now looking just like the rest of the app. Now, this data is temporary. That's what I said. We're doing some hot fixes. But you're going to notice here that not only are we going to have revenue, but we're going to have visitors. We're going to have affiliate sales. We're going to have a lot more data uh, given you here. And you also now have quick icons up here for uh, reporting, managing affiliates, affiliate performance, customers, checkout forms, marketplace, uh, and new funnel. We're going to call that a new sales flow, actually. Um, and here you're noticing the new set of icons that we have here without the text underneath it. And if you want to know more about it, you just hover over it just like this. And so when we click on product funnels, this loads the previous menu that we have here. It just looks a little bit cleaner. So we're really uh, excited about that. And so you're gonna, here's one more really cool, exciting thing is that you notice the G is gone when you're inside the app. So you're getting an app specific icon. So you're getting the Groove Cell icon. And so what happens when you click on this, and it's actually going to be on hover in a few hours, but right now when you click on it, you're getting this new dropdown. And the dropdown will show you where we're going with our design here. So I can go back to the Groove 
dashboard, or I can look at all of the different apps. We're gonna get rid of the scroll bar here so that you'll just actually see all the apps without having to scroll. But so you see, we're putting the apps under apps. And then we're gonna have learn, and that's gonna bring you over to all of our learning portals, both free and paid. You'll learn about um, uh, Groove Digital Academy, Groove Card Academy, uh, Groove Funnels Academy, the Fast Art Marketing Lab, the, uh, the Groovathon, all the, any, any content that we have um, that we can uh, put in a portal for you so you can learn more, we'll all be here. All of our training, our education, our webinar replays, it'll all be here and org organized for you. And something that uh, we went over a little bit yesterday, and maybe we'll go over uh, at some time during the week, this is a, a project that we're working on called Build Cell Market Support. Um, so Build is going to allow you to go in and start creating projects tied to a domain. And it'll have a, um, like six boxes, and it'll tell you that, um, okay, you need to uh, do your brand website. Check. Done. Okay. You need to do your store and then you'll set up your domain for your store, your, your subdomain to the store, for your membership site, everything like that. It's gonna walk you through more with what do you want to do today. So you're either gonna be building, selling, marketing, uh, uh, marketing, or doing support. And the more this will just go into things here like, uh, like Groove Pay, Groove Ads, Groove Solos, Groove Copy Pro, Groove Con, every, everything else uh, related to the company. So it's just a nice, cleaner uh, interface that we have here going back to the main dashboard. Again, you'll see that now the Groove Mail dashboard should have um, a new dashboard that will look like that. Let's see if they got that on there. Cool. So now you can see for Groove, cell, uh, for Groove Mail, you will always have a plus button here for an action. But um, here we have some uh, reports. You're going to be getting even more reports. We're going to probably have about four block reports for every single app. So this is how you're going to have quick links for your broadcast, sequences, lists, automations, form segments. I actually have a smile on my face that you don't see right now, but this is making me extremely happy to see that uh, how, this, how the app is coming along. Um, because for so long now, for two years, the app has been just completely functional, but uh, it hasn't been intuitive. Uh, it, some of the features are intuitive when you finally get there, but being able to have a holistic viewpoint of the app is something that uh, we're putting a lot of effort into uh, at this point. And then, of course, everything else related to the app uh, here you can see are in your hover. So your leads, your tags and segments, your campaigns, your automations, your forms, all of your settings are here. So if we were to click on leads, you'll see the shelf open up with leads, lists, and suppression. If we cl click on tags, we get th this here, our broadcast. We'll get broadcasts and sequences. And remember, we're going to be doing a deep dive on GrooveMail on Friday. And if we go back to the dashboard, we can see it's gonna be the same thing now, hopefully all the way across the board. I'm not gonna deep dive in on these, but as you look at this, Unroof did such a great job. Uh, here you have um, the uh, Groove member, and this shows my different memberships here and some data related to them. I can create a new membership. Again, all new hot links are here if I wanna look at members or add members. And then the deep dive menus will always be over here. This is some really exciting stuff. Let's just take a quick peek at how Groove Video looks. Remember that had that ugly dashboard when you logged in? So now you're gonna be welcome to some analytics. Again, later in the day, we're actually gonna fill this in so it'll give you actual data. Your quick links here. You wanna click and go to your video library. You just click like that. Categories, storage settings, encoder settings, analytics, or quick add a new video. And over here, we go back to our Groove blog. <clears throat> Curious. Okay, group blog and group pages are still going to look like this because you have to deep dive into a particular blog. Um, or maybe we didn't get to it just yet. Um, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll know later today. As I said, we're doing some hot fixes on this. And Groove Card is Groove Card. But um, I'm just really, really thrilled with the, with the new icons uh, here. These are all, all icons that we had illustrated uh, personally in-house. So these are unique uh, to our platform. Um, which is something that we want to strive for. We don't want to have um, anything tied into other themes or uh, admin themes that you can get on Theme Forest or even, even things that you can get at Font Awesome, which are, is a great icon library, but we just wanted to have something that is unique to just our app. So that is a quick walkthrough uh, update of the, of the 
apps today and maybe today at the end of the keynote because we want to record a clean keynote that we're going to be using at our website today uh, and we're going to be using all over for tutorials our help desk groove.how uh, inline help you name it and so we want to create a real clean start to finish keynote today and that's why we're not doing the q a until the end and right now it's just a little bit more free form so maybe after the keynote i'll dive in and i'll show you some things that we have coming down the pike on the projects i have some um some mock-ups on how that's going to look and i think you guys are going to be really excited so before we get started i see david lemon and donna uh in there i just want to get your take on the um on the new dashboard what do you think I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It's clean. Um, thank you for all the feedback in the chat. Uh, while Mike has been talking and showing it off for you, I've been grabbing screenshots and sending them over to our designers. So you made their day because they don't often get to get the feedback from you guys. So a couple of their um, a couple of your comments went directly to them. So they're feeling a lot of pride and happiness. And uh, Tomas, our lead designer said, uh, and this is a quote from him. He said, and we are not even close to where I want this to be. So more awesomeness coming when it comes to our app and our user interface and the user interface, um, you'll hear us refer to UI and UX throughout UI is user interface, UX is user experience. Um, that's really important to us. It is very, very important. Um, and you may not think that based on opening up dashboards with no data in them for a couple of months, um, but truly it is. It's a, it's a huge part of the conversation and the communications that we have in the company, how to make the app more intuitive, uh, easier to use, less clicks, less um, friction between when you get there and what you need to do and what you want to do inside the app. And we're just taking steps towards <laughs> that. I'm so, so excited about this. Yeah. And all those little yeah. icons, little color icons that make, they're, they're, it's faster for you to identify something by an icon that's as distinct and unique as our new icons too. So I'm really loving it. And that's yeah, one of David, the things I always, mention, uh, I always mention on my Q and A's that how we develop the platform is that we put in the functionality first and then we take a good chunk of time and making everything pretty and fast and, and work and, and beautiful. And that's what we're doing with Groove Member right now. That's what we will be doing with the other platforms. But that's what you're seeing right now. Like at this moment in front of your eyes, yesterday it was completely different. Today it's already completely different. So we are going to put in the functionality first into our new apps and then make sure that it looks and feels pretty. It works fluent and fast and it's, it's just what we want to do. Absolutely. It's, um, you know, it. We, like David just said, we, we really have to focus um, much of our attention on making sure that the app is working, especially when we're building an app. Once we, once we launch the actual site, everything will be going in sync, but, but the developers are always making sure affiliate links are tracking. And remember, we, we are one company called, you know, called Groove, but there are different teams with different skill sets, uh, such as the Groove Pages team are really strong on front end design and drag and drop and uh, understanding um, how to keep code light for Google so that we have proper SEO. And then when you have something like Groove Cell, it's gonna be very different uh, than Groove Pages and certainly there's Groove Cart and there's these different teams. And so what we have to do, um, we have to make sure that at the end of the day, these guys can do what they do, but then we have to circle back and say, well, we add a product like this over here in GrooveCell, and we add a product differently in GrooveCart. And so Tomas uh, and the team are working very, very hard on the background, getting all of these things ready so that when we say, okay, we're happy with the core development, and then we do what we're, what we're calling like a wrap. We're doing a skin wrap now. We can go and we can put the CSS skin over the entire app. And these are the things that we know about for months that we just, you know, I know I had a call with Donna the other day and I was showing her what, what we're going to show you later today, uh, how the projects work. And she literally laughed and said, you have no idea how happy this is making me right now. Uh, and David, I'm not even sure if you saw it uh, yet. This was a call that just uh, Tomas and uh, I had with Unroop. And then I was able to show it to Donna. I showed her recording the video. So we're going to get the world premiere of that after the keynote today. 
Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. We, um, we are gearing towards, uh, for the rest of the year, this is what our year looks like. We're going to spend the rest of this month working on the entire UI, and then Unroop's going to start on the wallet. We do what's called sprints, and sprints are organized by David Lemon, myself, the other, uh, and the other partners, and we decide where do we want to go in the next year? Okay, that's the grand vision. Where do we want to go in the next three months? And that's where we take all of the ideas and we score them. There's a scoring system in development based on four quadrants, right? What is the cost to the company? How long is it going to take to get done? Um, what is the impact for the users? And what is the impact for the company's bottom line, right? So imagine that being an equalizer of bass and treble and left speaker and right speaker, and you have to say something like, okay, let's do, um, what's more important? Importing the URL, uh, importing a URL so somebody can import any page off the web, or split testing. And then we're gonna see, okay, well, one of these things may take um, three months, one of these things may take three weeks. What does the user want more? What is gonna give us more impact on the front of the website doing a demo? to spend 20 minutes doing a demo on split testing or to do a demo on uh, importing a URL. Now, obviously, the, the plan is, the idea would, would be to get both, but when you have your resources, you have to give it a score. So we go through all of these different things, and what gets scored a 76 is gonna be higher than something that gets scored a uh, 34. So we do listen to all of your feedback. I can let you know that all of your feedback is heard, it's cataloged as well as my feedback and Donna's <laughs> feedback, and she even made a comment yesterday, I know I can't help myself, but there's this fear that I have that my great suggestion didn't make it to the Trello board, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm being over-cautious or a pain in the ass, but here it is again, right? And David said, I'm the same way, and you know, I like that because I'm, I'm the same way. Until we see it on the Trello board, um, we, we know that it's just out there in the ether. And once it's in the Trello board, that's where we score things. And so now what we're doing is we're finishing, uh, our, our, we're, we're finishing our, our second quarter sprint and we're starting the third quarter sprint. And that's where we're gonna, we're gonna do our final big push towards uh, Black Friday in November. Uh, and come Black Friday, uh, well, actually before Black Friday, what, what our project is uh, for the end, uh, once September ends, is the entire team um, is going to stop production and we're going to uh, spend one full month configuring the app for the new free version that we're going to be offering, the $99 a month plan. There will be no $199 a month plan. So it'll be free, $99 a month, and $299 a month. And the free, what we're giving for free is gonna be going down. We're gonna be changing some things on how many domains, how many pages can be public, published and things like that. We spoke about that yesterday, whether or not that's gonna be backwards compatible to some of the free members where we haven't decided yet. Uh, and what $99 a month people will get and what $299 will get. And that's also gonna go into things like what templates, uh, we're, we've decided that everybody's gonna have access to every template, but they're only gonna be able to build 10 sites per page. So we're gonna be really pushing people towards $99 a month and $299 a month. And, and for those of you that, that uh, cannot consider yourselves a charter member, a lifetime member, or a platinum customer, all three of those things are the same things. Um, your lifetime, you helped us develop the app. Anybody that buys lifetime will be categorized as a charter member, and they, they get the column that's called platinum, which is the highest set of features, which is basically everything that we have to offer. Um, but as we're moving towards uh, com uh, finishing this, uh, pro uh, the, you know, the, the project to go live, to be a true SaaS company where we can uh, proudly remove the beta, and feel there's a no compromise app here, and you log in, and we have a fully uh, featured and educational support desk and help desk, and Groove.how is fully uh, uh, f filled out. Every single feature in the app has a little tool tip or an inline manual, manual that will come in and, and help you. All of those things is what we're gearing towards towards the end of the year, and at that point, we'll be proud to be selling what we're selling now for 1397, the lifetime offer, we're gonna be proud to be selling that for $299 a month, like very proud. As we said yesterday, we're going to 
rewrite history, and we're going to uh, ask all affiliates to remove all blogs and videos and everything related to Lifetime. It's going to serve no, nobody any purpose. You know, in, in other words, you don't go to a website where somebody is selling something uh, for $499 and they say, hey, we, we used to do a Kickstarter for this for $199, but you could buy it for $499. That serves no purpose. And that's the same thing we're going to do. So we're going we're gonna to do our best to, get, um, to have you work with us to get rid of all those things. And then when you look at something like Active Campaign, where the same amount of leads that we'll give you is just email, well, we're going to force Active Campaign to say, hey, if we want to compete with Groove, we're going to have to come up with a, a page builder and allow people to sell products. And, and they're going to be at the board, boardroom going, but that's not who we are. We're just an email mm -hmm. marketing company. Yeah, but for $2.99 a month, there's a company that's doing it just as well as us, and they also do these things. And so we're, we're, we're looking to be a dilemma for them um, <clears throat> all the way down the line. Uh, you know, our friends over at Kajabi will be the same thing. They'll be two ninety nine a month for essentially what we're doing with GrooveMember as we're going to continue to develop that and chase Kajabi on, on every feature that they have. Uh, and I believe we're going to surpass them uh, probably by the end of this year. Uh, and then they're going to have to say, hey, what are we going to do with all of this money that we just raised? Are they going to have to start doing, creating a page builder and they're going to start chasing us? Our good friends over at ClickFunnels are going to have the same thing. They are currently charging you $299 a month to just do what GrooveFunnels does, but they don't do what GroovePages uh, does. You can't do a brand website with full navigation. You can't, ha you, you can't have a full sales flow of products the way that we do with, uh, with, the, with, with the configured upsells and, um, and hybrid upsells and all those different things, uh, the affiliate management, the email marketing. All those things, when you use ClickFunnels, you have to go out and get Active Campaign and Kajabi and put all these things together. So the, the bottom line is at the end of all of this, we're going to go out there and say at $2.99 a month, we think that people are still going to come up to us and hug us and kiss us. And good for you if you got in. At, at, when I say the number, it sounds so, so ridiculous. At $1,397. I know everything in perspective. If we just say, is $1,397 a lot of money? Yes. Is it an insane value to get access to, uh, to this platform that other people will pay $2.99 a month for? And you'll never have to make another, uh, another payment and just continue to watch this platform grow. Uh, so for, this for is us, why I keep pushing for the price increase to go. Like Mike and I disagree. He wants to keep it as close to 1397 as possible. He's willing to give a nod and go to 1497. I keep pushing for 1997. And if I thought that there was a chance in hell that Mike would do it, I would be pushing for 2497. Because this year, it feels to me like our app has so much more value than it did last year. Like the, the 1397 figure seems ridiculously low to me now like like too low like what's wrong with it low like, like um i really feel like it's time for us to increase our prices because groove is amazing and especially with the rollout of groove mail so yeah we'll, we'll get to see who wins on september 1st when the price goes to 14.97 or 19.97 or somewhere in between <laughs> you guys are very very lucky it's not that I'm your advocate. I will, I will say that. It's not that I'm the advocate necessarily for the price being low at $13.97. Uh, um, I'll tell you some of the, uh, the things that I discussed with Donna. I'll let, I'll let you as groovsters know why I'm hesitant uh, to, to move the price. Um, certainly to move it to $14.97, I'm not hesitant at all. To go to $19.97 and, and $24.97, obviously... Um, it's not tested and we're so close to going to $2.99 a month that if for some reason the conversions just, just tank, which I don't think that they will necessarily, but if they do, we can't go backwards. And then we're going to have six months of less revenue coming in, but, but more than likely it would increase revenue. So here's the real other kicker, and it's becoming less and less of a problem now that we have Elliot uh, in the company, is that when you go to the... <clears throat> legacy videos, like what we're about to roll for you in just about a minute before we start the keynote, or uh, all of the upgrade videos are me in a studio. Uh, if I'm reading a 29 minute uh, produced video, it's four to five hours in the studio of, of uh, flubs, bubs. Uh, let me restart that whole paragraph again. You're sweating, <laughs> you gotta wipe down, you gotta start. Okay, so the next product you get is Groove, uh, 
mess it up, you got to start again. And so the, for me to have to go in to the studio and just change the price uh, on a funnel and all that stuff, for me is just a little bit exhausting. And I'm like, ah, maybe we'll do it next month. So you guys are lucky that uh, for me, it's a pain in the neck to get into the studio to, to re-record videos. But now that we have uh, Elliot, um, who's recording the videos, I don't know if that went live yet, but you're going to notice here, if we share my screen, <coughs> sometime this week, when you uh, click, um, let me go back to the dashboard so you see my screen. When you click on this Groove Affiliate Program button here, this video is being replaced, and it's going to be replaced uh, by Elliot, uh, his voice, uh, and mo I'm going to be coming off of most of the videos from, from now on uh, so that we can move production faster. So yes, we'll be uh, able to increase our price, Donna, much easier. My excuse will go away. Uh, so.